I have an interesting Christmas. I took a look at the evening and I see that we were having a stoned Christmas. And so, can you read? Is that okay? And I remember a Christmas that I went home and then wanted to go out back to the clubs where I used to give parties so I could get stoned because of what I found. But in case I, well, forget the words, I won't. But then I realized I grew up in Bensonhurst in the 40s and 50s. I don't have to get stoned. Since we're married, I find lipstick on his cuffs and collar every night. Though I'd never get malicious, something tells me it ain't right. Caught him naked in the guest room when my sister came to spend the night. Though I'd never get suspicious, something tells me it ain't right. I could threaten to divorce him, watch him scream and squirm and shout, but I'd rather double-cross him, shut him up and rub him out. Gonna have some close connections who can do a job and do it right. Put an end to his erections cause he's ruled with my affections. He'll know that I know and I skip the whole verse. with my aunt and mother in the shower washing late at night though I'd never be suspicious something tells me it ain't right I know it's not paranoia this arrangement isn't fun should I go and hire a lawyer? Should I go and buy a gun? Have some those close connections. Yeah, they'll do the job and do it right. Put an end to his erections. Cause he screwed with my up in all directions when they bury him in sections he'll know that I know it ain't right and thank you Mark Janis for following me all around the universe